welcome back guys to episode 4. Today, in this episode, we are going to build ourselves a sugar cane and a gunpowder farm. And literally like two days later, I got tons of pistons, observers, and lots of redstone. So we should be good to start building our farms. But I also forgot we need materials to build the outer shell of the farm, like cobblestone. So let's get a couple shulker boxes of that. Okay, I'm back. We have like six shulker boxes worth of cobblestone, which that should be pretty much plenty we'll see but it is time to start building these farms in the industrial district since we got this nice creeper farm built and our sugar cane farm built I think we're going to extend the sugar cane farm out a little bit more to finish that up and once we do that we'll have like a pumpkin farm and a melon farm like right there and I'll kind of like start hooking up systems to kind of meet the center because this center will be the central point the storage of all of these farms as you can see i only have like a little storage system there and there pretty much all over so i'm going to connect it into like one big storage room at the end when i'm done with all these five farms so the other farm I forgot to mention that I'm going to build in today's episode is a wool farm, which I have down here, but it's not really going to load, so I'm going to move it up here. Can I make one there and here? Can I make it more sy symmetry-wise and just connect them up too? But first, let's get to work on a pumpkin and melon farm. Okay. So, we got the sugar cane farm, and it's three times the size. It is as long as this creeper farm, and it's about half the size, pretty much about half the size of this farm. So, we got two huge mega farms with us, and now we will build the pumpkin and melon farms. Look at all the sugar cane. It got in two hours. So we're going to build the water and pumpkin farm. Watermelon farm, by the way. Okay, so we're going to build those and we'll see the progress of this little time lapse thing. So let's get to it. Okay, so we have two more farms to do. Since we have the pumpkin farm, we're going to make the melon farm right there. But right now, I think we're going to make wool farms on these corners because I want to mix it up a bit, get some wool farms, and after I'm done with building all these farms, I'm going to connect all their storage systems into one ginormous storage unit. So it's all hooked up and we are getting all the loot and stuff. So I'm going to build ourselves a wool farm. like AJ's got himself a house and wow he has really been busy with some netherite I mean look at that four sets of netherite 
That is crazy. Wait until he sees what we will be doing next episode. But, let's continue with the construction of finishing the villager project. Because that is something we need to get done. And I've almost got all my tools and gear from dying in the end. So let's go do that. Quite amazing. Those mushrooms are beautiful. A little farm. Yes, this is this is looking good. Getting things done. So to finish up this project, I needed to finish up a couple villagers, but I've done some looking on my list and it looks like I don't need these four villagers. So for now, I'm just going to leave them blank and I'm going to fix this up. And when I do that, I'm going to get a villager for each section and to note for notes I guess there's gonna be one villager for each section gotta figure out a way to solve this so yeah and we're also gonna get the zombie on this track and what it's gonna do is it's going to be moved around it's gonna it's gonna hit the villager we're gonna cure it we're gonna get the trades all around so the villagers are going to see that and once we're done with the section we will move it to the next so I'll be working on some tunnels details and then we will get pretty close to finish because so all I think that I have not mentioned is the outside work but there's not much plan for the outside work so Everything I said will pretty much finish off this project and we can move on to the more important things like our mega base and a bigger project I've been wanting to do for a while. So with that said, let's get some materials and do the work. Alright, so we got our villagers in place in every station here. As you can see, we have a villager there and one in here with the zombie, which we have been doing a back and forth curing. As you can see, getting some prices lowered. But right now, they're not lowered because I just traded with them. But what I am going to do next is work on the details. I've got some glass, some uh, some leaves, and we're going to decorate this. We're also going to add some other decorations, but for now, the major decorations are these leaves and the colored glass. So let's do that. Alrighty, let's see how this looks. It is not looking too bad. Once we have this surrounded all around, we can add more decoration to it. And plus, we're also going to add some light sources because it's pretty dark. So with that said, I will continue the rest in this facility or this box, whatever you want to call it. I'll continue the rest, add some later details, and then I will work on the next square. So I will do this for quite some time now. So let's do this. Okay, looking decent. So what I have planned for the other decorations is I have three more items I want to add. But so far, it is looking good. And I may have to fix some kind of weird parts like this like right here but besides that everything is looking terrific so far I am liking it so let's go gather up some of those materials add them to this and see what the finished product looks like
Okay, I added all the decorations, and this is what it looks like. It looks very magical, and there might be some tweaking up, and I may add some later details, but this is what it's going to look like all around the treading hall. So, we got one room out of five. So, let's continue this into the other rooms.